Hi, this is Pam, Pamela Gropi Art, and today I want to share with you some painting ideas or items that you can paint and give as gifts. I'm not going to be able to paint all of these items this year for you, so I wanted to give you the heads up of what's available out there to give you some ideas of things that you can paint using any of the designs on my website that I already have tutorials for and or a workshop. Now, um, many items. I found at Walmart and I'll find I'll do those first kind of do a category thing here Walmart first this is a wood frame and I've started to base paint it with a dark blue I was thinking of doing snowflakes and maybe little snowmen on it and that would be a fun little frame to give this is was three dollars and then um, I bought this candle holder I don't know if they call it a votive it's also could be used as a vase and you could paint this and buy a little pillar candle. I think this little dollar the candle was like a dollar. And this wasn't very expensive either. I had seen cases of these at Dollar Tree. And it ends up these being a dollar a piece. So if you had like a wedding or something that you wanted to do, like table settings, this would be really a great idea. You could hand paint these. I have a workshop on painting roses on glass and I have one on monarchs and lavender on glass both of those as well as I don't know if I did my um, California poppy that I yet I might have I also have some strawberries that I've painted on glass so that's another thing I got at Walmart under five dollars um, oh these little sign things these I showed I did my um, strawberry painting tutorial on this one and then I had a plaid folk art um, stencil that I put the word pantry on there just to make it a fun sign it has a rope hanger and this was under five dollars so here's what it looks like plain so whatever you wanted to paint on it you don't even have to put lettering it could be just a scene so I'm just making sure, okay, here's some wine glasses. I just bought another set. I haven't washed them yet. This one is the 14 ounce. The ones I just bought were 15, so they're a little bit larger. And the entire box was a $5 for four glasses. So that would be nice to paint up um, some glasses. You could do a set, like two glasses, and then paint a wine bottle, a bottle of wine, and then you give it as a gift. The, the wine bottle can even be full. I'm sure that would be much more fun for the recipient. So that would be a great gift. And so if $5 for four, that's less, that's a dollar and a half each or less than a dollar and a half for each glass. So $3 and whatever your bottle of wine costs. Oh, here is, I've been doing painting candles. I guess I can show you the ones I've started to paint. These came in a three package of three and they were very inexpensive too. I don't remember, but I know it was under $7, I'm guessing here. Um, it's been a little while, but I just started painting these. I am gonna have a workshop on painting candles. You can even paint recycled items, like these little glass jars. These were yogurt, we Yo play yogurt jars. And I frosted the glass and then painted a rose on this one. Um, Plaid Folk Art has many colors of glass frost paint, and I did these. You can go to their website, plaidonline.com, and find those. I haven't found the paints at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Walmart, so or Joann's. So you might have to order them from Plaid Online, but they have a great price and all of that. These little coasters I got from Amazon and I got some from Michaels. And these I painted chickens on, and I have another um, workshop on painting geraniums on these little wood coasters. The set of four coasters was $5, and then you paint them and whatever your paint costs are. So there's a gift for under $15. Um, and I probably Hobby Lobby carries those too if you have a Hobby Lobby near you. This is a bamboo recipe box. Now, I saw recipe boxes like similar, but not as well made at Michael's and on Amazon. 
and um, other hobby stores. This one is much better made. It is $15, but it is very, like I said, quality, high quality. And it comes with the little cards. And what I really liked was it has a plastic sleeve and it has a little groove and you put the recipe in the sleeve while you're cooking and the plastic protects it. And you can look at your recipe without getting your card dirty. This I will link to. And like I said, I got it off of Amazon and it's bamboo and very well made. I really am impressed with it. Okay, uh, I got the wine glasses. I wanted to show you something you could make pretty wrapping paper with. Now I got this craft paper. This was brown craft paper. It comes in a large roll at Home Depot. Um, I use this to practice on a lot. I use it to cover my tabletops when I'm painting and or you can use it as wrapping paper. It's very stiff. It's in the paint department where they do uh, drop cloths. So they put it on the floor of homes or whatever when they're painting. So it's very, very heavy duty. There are lighter weights if you want to get that. Also, I had found a, a lighter colored one. Let me grab it. This was a roll of drawing paper that I got from Ikea, and that would work very well too. It's not as heavy as that brown paper, but it is a very good weight, and the light color is kind of nice to be different. I kind of like the brown paper. I just, I like the um, painting on it and all of that. So also from Walmart, I wanted to show you, is these little scented candles. Now some people can't handle scents. This one's vanilla, and it's not too overpowering. And it's actually quite nice, but it has a nice little jar that you could paint some kind of design on it that you wanted to give as a gift. This was also under $5. Um, you could paint terracotta pots. I don't have any empty in here that are clean to show you. I bought these jars too. I've seen these at Walmart. I got these at Dollar General. And they come in different sizes. And they have this flat part here that you can paint a design on. I usually spray paint the lids. A color, the one I have in my laundry room because I have my OxyClean in it, is a seafoam green, the lid. I didn't paint a design on it yet, but I, I had painted designs on some, and I have pictures on them, but they're it's very old pictures. I'll see if I can find them for you. But I used or got the little uh, porcelain scoops. They're like the Chinese soup spoons at World Market, and I put um, bath salts in the smaller one and I tied twine around it and had that little scoop on it and that made a really nice gift. Um, so if you make those kind of things like bath salts or the sugar scrubs that are scented with both the um, essential oils, this is really a neat thing to put it in. Or you can even buy little, little glass jars like um, mason jars. Let me see right over here to do that. These, I got a, a, not a crate, what a case of them. It has the embossing here, but the rest of it's plain. So you could do the same. Spray paint the, the lid, paint a design on the little jar, and put bath salts or whatever in it. Um, there's also what, little lotions you can make. I'll link to a website, a couple of websites I know of where they make um, those type of items. And they're healthy, they're natural. This I got from Home Depot. And it was plain metal, and I spray painted it with white gloss paint. You could um, brush it on, but you leave the brush marks. And if you don't mind that, that's fine. But um, then I took, this is one of those little makeup sponges, and I took black gloss paint, and I just tapped it around here. If you got a closer look, you would see it's not perfect, but it does a good job of making it look kind of like granite ware, or whatever that's called, enamel ware. Okay, I'm looking, oh, I got this at Dollar Tree and I thought it was a cute little thing that you could just paint a design on and leave like this and put garden tools or little seed packets or something in it as a gift for a garden friend. Or you could paint it white and then paint a design on it. I don't have it here, but I have bought a bucket, like a 10 gallon bucket. It's just plain galvanized bucket and you spray paint it. Um, and that might be something I'm coming up with pretty soon to do a core, uh, tutorial on. So you can see how I do it and then you get a really neat container that you could put stuff in as like a gift basket. 
Also, if you like fabric painting, I have a couple of fabric painting tutorials. Do I have one? I don't remember how many, but I, I'm going to do more because I have some jeans I need to paint and a jean jacket that I want to paint. Uh, the jean jacket would be a very good um, gift to give. I got, it's a Jordache. I got it from Walmart and it was like $17, so it wasn't bad. Do you know how hard it is to find jean jackets anymore? So these flower sack towels are also a great idea that you, these are made for embroidery, craft projects, daily kitchen use. But this is from Walmart. Aunt Martha's is the brand and they look, feel like they're um, a good quality. So anyways, another thing that you could give as a gift, also under $5. How many are in here? Let me see. I think there's two, two or three, two. I don't have my glasses on, where do I put them? Okay, I think that is rather the gamut of everything. There's also things like small canvases you can paint. These are perfect size. These are stretch canvas. They are back stapled. I think I got these from Dick Blick, but I've also seen them at um, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and paint little designs on it and give them as gifts. They are perfect for sitting on a shelf. Oh, here's something. I did a, one of my workshops on this. And this is a little wood slice. And you can see where I was practicing on this side. But a wood slice, I think this was $9. And it's really just an interesting thing. Like maybe somebody has cabin decor. And like I said, always there are the canvases that you can paint. This is a coming up tutorial or, or workshop that I'm doing. And I'll have it up on the blog soon. So, or another thing, um, thrift store finds are great. I found this at a thrift store. It is actually an Ikea picture. I don't know if they still make it at Ikea. It just says Ikea on the bottom, so that's how I know it's where it originally came from, but I paid a dollar for it. And I was thinking of painting um, either strawberries or lemons on it, like for a lemonade pitcher or something like that. And so if you found something like this, with some wine glasses or they have the stemless wine glasses that would be a nice set to give like a breakfast set to give to somebody i have also found these cups these i do believe i found at bed bath and beyond and i cannot remember the price for them but they were very reasonable so um there's those here are something else that's very popular i got these at dollar tree some people call them everything bottles. They have the little spout that you can put olive oil, um, vinegars, and or your dish soap and have it on a pretty bottle sitting on your sink. So I'm looking around, make sure I'm not missing anything. I think that's it for now. But you can, you can walk through Michael's and even any of the dollar stores and just look for things that you think might be really pretty painted and that others would like to get. So, and there's always the signs that I have tutorials for that you can do. Aha, one more, I knew I had more. Okay, I was would have tripped over it. This is from Walmart and I thought it was a great rustic look that you could paint summer flowers on or some kind of scene, a barn scene or something. This is really nice, let's see, this is called mix the media but like i said i got it at walmart it was also five or under dollars um, and it has the little rope hanger so that would be nice i cut a lot of my own wood for my signs or a lot of the wood things i paint on but i know a lot of people don't have that interest or the means to do that um here's another item these this i have a lesson to how to build this on my flower patch farmhouse dot com i do believe i call it a rustic box so if you did a search there for some this you would find how i built this and even how i did the uh, rustic finish on it um, but i saw something similar to this at hobby lobby already pre-made and i think it was like eleven dollars i'm not certain but if you didn't want to build one or have one built for you then um, go ahead and try one at hobby lobby i use this i put um, i have several of these and i have my paint bottles stacked in them I also have one by my sink where I have my uh, dish soap, sponges, and other things, my lotion, so it's all contained, and uh, it looks a bit dressier than just all of it sitting on the counter. 
Now, I really do think that's it. I hope you enjoyed these ideas for painting gifts to give to friends and family and or just to keep in your own home. And I will be sharing more items as I get them painted, how to do that, at, you know, throughout the year. So there you go. I was going to say, if you haven't looked, go to glass painting on my website. I have a video where I show painting a pansy. I have where I paint the delphiniums. Oh, here's one of them. I have paint brushes stored in this one right now, but this is a vase that I painted and it's of delphiniums. And this was also a thrift store find. So um, it sits here on my windowsill with my paint brushes in it and it just makes a decorative storage container. So more than just a vase. And okay, now I really am done. All right, I will see you in the next video and the next post. And like I said, I will try to get everything linked that I can provide a link for for you. And you can find these for yourself.